Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I'm going to participate in a 5-0 Blitz tournament on chess.com. And that's starting up in just a matter of seconds. I'm going to try to do the whole thing. It's seven rounds. I do have a uh, little Zoom meeting starting up in about an hour or so, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it, but we'll find out. At the very least, we'll do as much as we can and try to do our best. Let's start off here. Alasaka 30. All right, let's take the center. We're going to challenge. Hmm, I don't think it's so long on this one. Seems like I could. Can't take, take, check, till still a little bit too soon for that kind of stuff. All right, we'll bring the knight out. And it looks like I will have to make up a little bit of time here. Queen up, target over here on the uh, h6 square. Back up first. Hmm. Yeah, let's do a couple takes here. Oh, a little surprised about that. Probably take that bishop out sooner rather than later. I'm going to hold off a little bit longer though. I'm 
keep an eye on this bishop here. My queen is the only defense. Let's move up here. Imagine the rook wants to uh, now the rook can take over here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that bishop. Push this pawn with intentions of pushing again. Yeah, I think my opponent maybe gave me a little bit of a reprieve. Maybe not. Let's see. Let's threaten the queen. I know we've got this attack going on over here. See if my opponent will uh, exchange. They will. I'll go after this pawn. out onto this open D file. Okay, so they're really doubling up on the attack here. Tripling up on the attack. Don't like having my queen here first, but since their queen is second in line, I guess it's okay. taken up here. Ooh, I'm running out of time here. Running out of time. Ah, good game. All right, next up. Janin, Germany.
keep hassling this queen a little bit. Ooh, they can take there. Yeah, I was thinking if they took here, I would have this opportunity, but uh, that rook is undefended. All right, let's get this. Uh, Queen out here. I'm going to leave that there. Rook guarding there. Okay, now I'm okay if the knight goes here, because then we're going to pretty soon have a bishop. Let's see if we can uh, rouse this knight. I think we may have this one. It looks like we're back up with round three. Broy. We're just looking over that last game at the end of it, and um, oh, it may not be connected. And I was thinking I had to get rid of that knight, but I was realizing after the fact that um, yeah, I could have put my bishop right in there right away. Knight takes, and then I'd have a pawn to replace the bishop, and so I could have uh, would have been in a checkmate position with a queen and pawn. All right, doesn't look like that we're going to make this one, so I'll go ahead and pause the recorder, and we'll catch back up in the next round. Okay, looks like round four might be starting up here.
similar move I had in round uh, round two. This part's a little bit different, though. Huh. Probably not super smart, but I'm gonna take with the queen. I gotta protect this fork here. I need to get my queen out of harm's way. Actually. Put my bishop here. Let's see if they take. We'll do some trading up here. Hmm. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get castled. Get this rook out. Rook, knight, get the knight out. Hmm, do I want to trade more? Sure, I'm up. We will trade more. Alright, I need to get my bishop out. Actually, I might push here. Um, I don't think I'm worried about that. My knight is guarding. Yeah, we'll move here for now. And maybe I should get my bishop over here on uh, a6. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go here. Do a big push. Which means I will go ahead and... Threaten the knight. My bishop's going to get kind of stuck over here, isn't it? All right. I'll go here for now. That bishop is pretty useless. And I need to break through and get my rook out. Let's see, where are they heading to now? Up here? Alright. Let's get this rook out into the open. They do have this passed pawn over here, which I don't, don't really care for.
Hmm, how do I break out of this? All right, I do have a time advantage, and I think that might be just enough of a time advantage. Rook anywhere where I can get forked. about this square. All right, well, I'll take a win on time. Let's do a couple checks here if needs be. All right. GG. Yeah, just jump, jumping back to the analysis there for a second. Yeah, I was relatively happy with, um, yeah, just looking up at the lines, bishop e4, the top move. And I feel pretty good. I think I let white kind of gain back an edge at some point in here. Of course, I let my uh, light squared bishop get stuck. Looks like we're up to, uh, I don't know, what is this, like round five or something? Dragon MK. All right, so we're doing a Carol Can. Cat 
castled. Opponent is playing very quickly, but um, Hmm. All right, let's challenge this light squared bishop. All right, I want to lock that down. That seems pretty good for me. Let's, um, how are they, what can I, obviously we've got a potential checkmate here if I get on that G file. Can I attack two things at once? Doesn't look like it at the moment. So we'll go here. They can't block. Can't really threaten that way. Block here, but I'll do a pawn push. Okay. That can certainly work. Let's get a rook lift. neither here nor there, so uh, hmm. yeah, if they block with their queen, I'll just slide all the way back. Okay, no worries. Um, I think, well, I can't really take that, can I? I didn't even need to take it. A friggin' checkmate right there. Ugh. Frustrating. I know I didn't have checkmate. What am I thinking? Still defended by the uh, bishop. All right, good. Would have been irritating. I would have been thinking about that all night. Hmm. All right. Got him on the run. How can we convert? How's my time doing? I'm under two. My opponent has over three. Let's get some rooks lined up under this king. I 
need to, I can bring my queen down here, look at options over here. I do have a check here, but eh, nothing much is going to come of it yet. All right. We'll take. Pre-move. Keep an eye on that time. Got a check here. It's defended by the bishop. Okay, okay, we'll take here. Checkmate there if the queen moves. My king is fine. My king's got a place to run. It's protected by the dark square bishop. Excellent. GG's. All right, so... I think we're doing pretty good. We did, you know, lose that first game, um, mostly on time, but you know, I wasn't playing my best on that, for sure. Yeah, but I got a little bit of an advantage. Okay, white's starting to get a, gain a little bit more control here. Turn that explorer on. Yeah, I think this is where we're really well. Positions are looking pretty balanced. But I was starting to really feel a lot more confident now that we had a defined attack on their king side. And yeah, those are some. I'm surprised those don't come up as worse moves for black, pushing those pawns and locking down that side of the board. Yeah, taking this pawn was intentional. Um, yeah, I didn't want to take back with my rook yet. I wanted to get both of my rooks lined up there first, knowing I was going to be able to grab that pawn uh, shortly. Yeah, and white's got a pretty good advantage here at the moment. Okay. Let's see, how are we doing in this 20? Um, I've got four out of five. And there is a player that's got five out of five up there. Stitch is smiling. Stitch is, Stitch is smiling. And uh, yeah, currently in fifth position. But you know, there's a there's a few other players too that also have four wins. And I, I forget, but I think these little numbers down here. This is, you know, I have to see if there's a tie. And I think it's based on if they're playing higher rated opponents and stuff like that. Um, so in a tie situation, these players would rank higher than I would. In fact, I just pushed down to sixth place, geez. But, boy, it's a nice international mix here. I don't think we, oh, we got two, two, uh, two Americans in there. But otherwise, lots of variety in the countries of origin. That's pretty cool. And this is a 5 0 Blitz, 1200 to 1499. So it's limited to uh, uh, low level players and things like that. All right, so I think that was round five. Got round six starting up. How am I doing? Ah, oh, crap. I have a uh, Zoom thing I've got to do potentially pretty soon. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get two more rounds in. We shall see. We'll see how it goes. All right. Looks like round six is starting up here. T4. 
T-Rex 357. Mm hmm. Let's see. Let's pin this. Night. I do need to get my bishop out so I can get castled. If they push, I'll go ahead and take. That didn't seem very smart. Let's do this, and then I'll bring this dark squared bishop back to threaten that uh, knight. Yep, we'll take there. Drop back here. Ooh. All right, we'll double up those pawns. Hmm. All right, let's get a little more pressure over here. Queen back to help guard. Oops. Oops. Oh man, I'm not paying attention. All right, let's focus here. Let's see. Um, this pawn's in rough shape. Not paying attention. Man, oh man, I'd like to get my knight up there, but it's protected by that light squared bishop. So I go here, or what's, what am I doing? Yeah, running out of time. I go here, queen takes. Yeah, I don't really have any other good moves after that. Hmm. All right, gotta do something though. Gotta do something. Let's see. Guess I'll drop back here, protect this pawn, but this pawn's gonna be exposed.
I wonder if I should have just gone right up here. Can't win them all. My opponent's up four, and I've got 22 seconds. That didn't seem very good. Hmm, let's drop all the way back. Oops, I'm out of time. All right, GG. Good game. T-Rex, 357 out of, uh, I don't know why I think Texas, just because I'm seeing T's and X's. All right, well, I think it's about 4 o'clock, and that's where my Zoom meeting is, so I don't think I'm going to be able to participate in round seven so I will have to live vicariously through the rest of the uh, players opponents there and if you made it this far in the video thank you very much appreciate your time and I will see you at the next game bye